and good evening and welcome to Locked In Stitches. It's Thursday night here, here in Canberra and I'll just make sure everything's coming up properly. <coughs> Excuse me, still trying to get rid of the last of my cough. Okay, hi, how's everyone going? As always, I'm Julie. Thank you so much <coughs> for joining us tonight. I hope the cough won't be too annoying all night. Um, and tonight we are going to look at the block of the month. Sorry, I'm just looking at <coughs> something that came up on my machine there. Um, so tonight we're going to be looking at our block of the month. And it's the first month and it's the Chic Boutique so the original one that I had was this gorgeous block and that's the one that I did in the 9 by 12 size <coughs> what I did on Tuesday is I went with a lot modern bright colors then I thought today, I'm going to try something a little bit different. And good evening, Barbara Evans. Lovely to see you. And what I found was all of these great, and these were just in my stash, um, fat quarters that I got years and years ago. And by years and years, I'm probably talking 15. So I thought, I'm going to use some of those and go a real country sort of a look. <coughs> so for tonight, I've settled on the darker wood with some spots and some really pretty um, rose print. The other thing that I wanted to show you is I've been playing around with the coffee carrier, getting it ready for the um, show season. This is going to be one of the classes that we offer and I had this friends fabric that I bought because I love friends couldn't think of what to use it for coffee carrier just perfect <coughs> okay so the first thing that I want to show you is how you can come through and change the name of your shop so you might not like sheer brilliance you might want to do something far more custom and because I've got a real country sort of a feel I've gone with curl up and die so let's come through and have a look at how I created <coughs> or how <coughs> how you can create this design and good evening Sylvia and Linny okay so I've got my design up on my machine and the first thing that I'm going to do is select what font I want to use. Now you also need to select what size of font and then you can start um, <coughs> putting your lettering in. I'm so used to a typewriter this was a horror to do. Now, the mistake that I made, that I've made here, as you can just see, is it's going across my five inch. And that's way too large for the space that I've got there. I can see that from there. So, I'm going to come through and delete that. And instead, what I'm going to do is go back into my lettering and choose the small size. And try again. Now, because we're layering this on top of our design and you can see that one's probably a bit too small I'm 
and I'm going to delete again. Third time's the charm. Now, what I'm going to do is go <clears throat> and set so my so my design goes down the hoop, and I'm going to choose. my lettering and I can see here that I've made a bit of a mistake because I've added one too many um, spaces so I just want to get rid of that <clears throat> And my hands are shaky. I've gone back on steroids just for a couple of days to try and help my lungs. So I've got shaky hands. Okay, so curl up and die. I want to center that over that space. And then what I'm going to do as I do the stitching here is I'm going to ensure that what we are doing um, that I stop the machine before it stitches out the first name. Once I'm happy with that, I'm then ready to start stitching. Okay, so we've got Diane Merrick, thank you for joining us. Uh, Jack Dixon, thank you for coming along. <coughs> Ingo Melita Thodden, thank you from Finland, thank you for joining us. And Gail Murphy and Lisa Callum are watching as well. Thank you very much. Okay, so now we are going to start laying our fabrics down. I put in a really basic standard thread to start with. And I'm going to go with this pretty purple. And I just love these fabrics. I've, you know... Is it just me or does anybody else have fabrics in their stash that they just, I know it sounds dumb, they're too pretty to use. Sorry if you can all hear me um, sucking on the, um, on the cough lozenge too, but you really don't want me without it at the moment. <clears throat> But again, I'm loving that I'm using stuff up. Not as much as hubby loves that I'm using stuff up. So today has been a massive day for me. Um, yesterday afternoon at 3 o'clock, I picked Cameron up from school and we drove all the way to Sydney. Um, New South Wales have the weirdest um, driving laws where an L plater can't go more than 90 degrees. Okay, now I'm getting ready for my um, for my shop front. And the main trick that I will tell you here is to make sure that the grain of the fabric is going in the same direction because otherwise it's going to look like an idiot built your house. Ah, god damn, don't you hate this? Bugger, bugger, bugger. Okay. So, things have to happen when you're on um, when you're on camera. But I want to show you how I get around this. So, what I want to do is just gently unpick where the stitches have been. And when you catch it quickly enough, you can totally then get out of it. <clears throat> you can see that. Okay. Ready to go again. Um, so yes, New South Wales law can't drive above 90 k's an hour on the freeway where it's 110. 
every other state they allow you to do that so the drive took about an hour longer and he did very very well um, happy to do it really wanting to get his hours <coughs> all the good stuff um, because I just started taking the steroids yesterday I knew I wasn't going to sleep well but I didn't sleep at all so we got to dad's at 7.30 we had dinner we had a chat yada 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 I stayed up all night watching television and then at 5.30 we hopped in the car again and came all the way back so it was a it has been a very long day now I'm just a little bit worried but no as I can see there on my original um, my um, <clears throat> it's supposed to be that little bit inner because then um, the the bottom plate is always wider okay so you can see those wood grains are going in the same direction which is exactly what we want and using my beautiful scissors to trim around don't worry about how awkward I look doing that that's because I'm trying to make sure that the camera can see as much as possible and I've worked out how to take after um, after Facebook had me saying rude words the other day I've worked out how to take captions off so that's a positive in my life how pretty is this minty green it's they're such soft colors <clears throat> Lynn Robinson thank you for joining us um, look I'm doing so much better but night time is always worse than morning time um, the mere fact that I'm not going <gasps> um, or I'm on Edward CPAP machine which was been the last week um, I've been sitting in the lounge room and using Edward's CPAP machine just to get good solid bricks so so long as I'm not doing that I'm calling it a bit of a win Wife of the year, slept chicken in the oven tonight. They got roast chicken for dinner. I haven't put the veggies in. Had an interesting thing yesterday. Um, my mm -hmm. eldest niece, who is turning 30 this year, is a teacher's aide now oh, at the end of the school holidays she had COVID um, and apparently the rule is that once you've had it you don't have to retest um, so the school's been giving her all of these testing kits and um, she's trying to get back over to America to meet, see her boyfriend so she asked if I put a couple of them on um, Facebook for her didn't think anything about it did it okay now this is the fabric that I'm loving <clears throat> I, I just just that little bit of rosiness in it and I'm going to use the um, the deep pink color as my signage and as the chair color um, so pop these you know rapid antigen tests um, oh my heavens people were so rude I it was only on Facebook for like 10 minutes and I just put down it was surplus to requirements the school has to give them out um, like but yeah people 
were accusing me of hoarding and profiteering and oh my um i just forget that you know crap like that happens that like i don't know my mother brought us up if you can't say something nice shut up now this one i've decided to go with the vinyl and it's just that little bit slightly glittery vinyl and i'm really stingy with it Now, I, can, I know what you're going to say there. I've just missed that corner. Now, I did tell Cameron that tomorrow afternoon, thinking that he finishes school at 1 p.m., I did tell him that we could drive to Melbourne and then he'd have 20 hours for the week. Um, he doesn't finish till 2.30. Oh, sorry, till 3.30. And then doing a 10-hour trip on top of that. Oh, so he seemed really tired today as well um i'm kind of hoping he's going to tell me after we've finished class that he doesn't want to go that is my goal anyway <clears throat> so yes if anybody needs any rapid antigen tests I've got seven of them I'm loving these colours, I think, you know, self-praise and all that crap, but um, I'm, I'm just really liking how pretty this is looking. So, what's everybody else been up to? Kids all back at school? Kids, grandkids? Um, oh, this has got to be the best feature on my machine is just that pulling the hoop forward. <clears throat> okay. And after two weeks of really crappy internet, and as you know we were really really worried about our speeds and um you know i told edward that if he couldn't fix it he couldn't stay home on a tuesday anymore um no one can do anything on a thursday night um yes i go to tell everybody to um to get off the internet and oh no i fixed it it was clicked onto 4g not 5g so that was all it was and I can see, certainly from my look, it certainly looks to be doing um, a much nicer video tonight. So I hope you guys are getting that as well. How well does that green spot go with the yellow flower? And what's everybody up to this weekend? Now that I'm hoping to be home for the weekend, I can start to make some plans. Oh, Lisa, congratulations. Your daughter started five days a week school. Oh, my God, you are going to love that. I can remember looking at the other mothers when Cameron started school and thinking that I must be the worst mother ever. I was looking at these mothers thinking, why in the hell are you crying? You know, you're not sending them to a concentration camp at school. Like, yeah, the only time I cried was when I had to pick them up. Um, but, um... <clears throat> I 
And you know, now I'm crying because they all come home too bloody early. Gracie was, um, didn't start classes till 11 on Wednesday. And she'd wanted me to take her out and um, put the recycle bottles through the return it. Because <clears throat> she wanted the money. Um, not a problem. We can do that. Now, normally, this would be the colour where it's going to attempt to stitch the name of the boutique. So we are going to keep our eye on what we are doing and make sure that <clears throat> it um, that we stop it after we've done the sides of this shop. Okay, and then I'm just going to forward through to the next colour. So that's the only change that we're making. We just needed to stop it where it had the original name so that we can put in the correct name <clears throat> or the new name. Oh, when the girls went to school, it was such a sense of freedom. So I totally get it, Lisa, and congratulations on growing one for long enough that it can, um, you know, and keeping it alive for long enough. Oh, and you've got all the, you've got uni assignments done. Oh, it's such a fun time. Okay. Now, as with all of my applique designs, what you will notice is it does this outline stitch just to finish everything off as well. And it's really just one of the features that, um, that I do on my applique. Um, and it gives it such a nicer, I think, look. Yes, I am excited. Edward has to go in for a meeting again tomorrow, so he won't be at home. Woohoo! I'll be up early in the morning. I'll go to the hospital and get more drugs. Um, you know those special ones that are controlled and yada 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 um, for the cancer stuff. And then I have the day to myself. <clears throat> Hopefully. And you can see just that tiny little bit of shimmer that you get with the vinyl. If you don't want to use something like vinyl on a quilt, um, some of the fairy frost or even just a plain white fabric, I just wanted to give it a little bit of extra bling. And how cute would this look turned into a bag if your child was a hairstylist um, or any of the blocks for the for the same thing like and I am loving that at the end of this year I'm gonna have two charity quilts ready to go from doing these blocks <clears throat> so 
So we've done our doorway. I am thinking of trying to finish off and do the um, the video in the next um, um, and the designs for changing the notebook into a notebook with a zipper pouch and um, clasp closure that might be one of my weekend ones but if I can remember to show you at the end that I've got a great um, design <clears throat> that was originally part of or, or that I had planned on being part of this collection but it just didn't quite go and there's actually two designs I've got a coffee cart and I've got an ice cream truck now I know what I'm going to do with the ice cream truck and once I've finished all of this I'll try and show you I'm still trying to decide what to do with the coffee cart design and the other thing I like about doing this in different colorways is one it forces me to think and not stick to that was the way I designed it that's the way it's got to be and it also um, then allows me to pull up different um, different things to <coughs> and different threads to use. Now that's really interesting. <coughs> Okay, thank you very much for that, Lisa. I appreciate that. Lisa's just mentioned to me that for the scratchy sore throat, marshmallows. That's really interesting. I might have to try some of that tomorrow because the Vicks Vega drops, I'm really over it. And I'm over, um, you know, every third day or so having to take an antacid because I've had so many vapor drops. Okay, so next colour. The next colour we're going to do is the beautiful um, stonework at the bottom, which for us is the purple spot. I know the other thing you're supposed to do for, um, for a cough is pineapple juice, which I never quite understood, but does actually work as well. Um... So if I've got the kids home in the morning, they might end up going and being my little shoppers. Oh, I like how that colour is perfectly matched though. Okay, question people. Brains trust question. When you don't have that perfect colour, do you go with best of or do you go and buy? I'm a best of kind of a person. Oh, Roberta Benson, thank you so much. Um, <coughs> Roberta's on joining us on YouTube. She normally watches us later, but it's nice seeing us live. <clears throat> um, so, for instance, when I found like this purple was a really difficult one to 
to find a good match for. So I'm ecstatic that it's working as well as it seems to be. Now, as you all know, you know, never ever use your scissors while you're stitching. Okay. Thankfully, I love this little pretty minty green so much that I did have the perfect colour for it. And it was nice to then go for a buttery yellow rather than a really bright yellow, just making it different to what I'd been sort of using all week. Okay, so Lisa, yeah, it depends on the project too. Totally agree with that. Um, I'm always, I'm always fascinated by <clears throat> where my laziness shines through. Trish is saying, yep, depends. If it's, <laughs> if it's for me, it's the best of what I've got. <laughs> oh, I got my third vac last Friday. Um, so I'm, I'm triple protected. Kids start theirs next week. And this time they gave me Pfizer. And look, all of that probably didn't help trying to get over this flu. Barbara Evans is, yeah, try to use what you've got. It would almost be nice. Like, I think painters have it that little bit easier than us in some ways because they can, <coughs> they can mix their colours. It would be really nice if we could do something like that with thread. I like this tone, but I need less blue in it. <laughs> That's what mums are for, Lisa. And I mean, I when I would go up to mums, I would... And I was very, very honest over the fact that I used to steal something each time. And if she could work out what I'd stolen, I'd give it back. I never gave a damn thing back. I can remember I'd done the, um, the messenger bag that we did last week. Um, and I'd done it and I was using it when I was at her place. And so she, she picked it up and she was having a look inside it and, you know, checking out what I'd done. And it's, oh, I've got that fabric that you've used for the lining. It's a nice one, isn't it? And she'd worked out what I'd done. Fond, fond memories. And I didn't even go into the old craft room last night. My heavens, might have been the first time I've ever been to, to Dad's place and not done that. I did go into a room inspection, make sure that the um, younger grandchildren haven't stuffed up all of my um, latest rounds of hard work. Um, they had. Um, I, um, I had to go through and My my kids were very rule orientated, um, so when we had the rule of there's no food in the bedrooms, that was just you know they knew that I was going to go ape shit on them um, if they did, so they didn't. These guys, they just ignore everything. Um, 
and um, so yeah, we were missing. Oh, I found grape stems shoved underneath pillow cushions. Um, I found, um, you know, drink bottles. Just uh, Dad doesn't see it because you know he's a 76 year old man he's exhausted he just wants to sell the damn place he can't understand why people can't look past his stuff and see the house um but um so we went in and we did a quick reconfig of um of all of that and cleaned cleaned out all the all the mess again <clears throat> That's looking pretty. And now we're going to go to that nice buttery yellow to do the awning. And the awnings on these guys are always going to take the most time because it's where a lot of that detail is Trying to work out what the weather's going to be for the weekend. That's not bad. We got 23s and 26s, so mild, but still, but still good. How pretty would this one look as a cushion as well? Now next week we're doing the fake undershirt um, shirt lengthener, the you know cover your ass t-shirt under your um, um, under your shirt or jumper. Um, I've working on my second one, and the second one that I'm using, um, I've actually gone and just dragged out one of Ed's shirts that's had a bit of a stain on it and I'm turning that into my undershirt and I'm then going to put the lace around the bottom of it. So we're going to look at creating our lace and setting it out in the right manner. And that yellow is just the perfect colour too.
What's everyone else done for dinner tonight? We know I'm having my roast chicken once I've finished. I need inspiration because I always go and do my grocery list after this. My family are absolutely not good at deciding what meals we'll have. So I think this was about the second design in the collection. The first one I started, um, oh, brisket, yummo. Oh, pot roast brisket. Chicken and feta sausages. I didn't know you could do that. I have never seen chicken and feta sausages. Oh, slow cooked, yes. Well, now that Cameron's finished at McDonald's and he hasn't found a new job yet, um, and you know, so all of the kids are home every night, so they're all cooking one meal a week. And then Ed and I are doing the rest. If they don't come out telling me what they want to cook, they have to cook what I pick. Now the one thing that I didn't do here, um, that I did do on Tuesday, was I didn't put a brand new bobbin in. Because the bobbin that I was using only had a tiny amount used out of it. So it's going to be interesting to see how far that bobbin gets us. And you can see, this is not a 20 minute in the hoop design. Never made as such a thing. These guys, it's the detail and it's the creating something that's going to be there for a while. Almost done with a little lawn in pieces. <coughs> and then it's just around the entire awning. What I love is that by the time I get to this point, I can really see 
sort of it all coming together. There's, you know, we're up to what, the last five colours? So yeah, we're on to the last five colours. <coughs> Might even surprise hubby and actually do my taxes or his taxes tomorrow. Mm, should get him off my back for another couple of months. Okay, <clears throat> so all of that satin is coming around and I do like a good satin stitch because once again it's adding that little bit of texture. Um, as you all know I'm a fan of my poly threads but even with the satin stitch in a poly you do get that luscious look with it. And I think as the design grows, you start um, seeing different things come out of it. And it's a great way to then um, not be inflexible with the colours you are using so that you can you know, look at it and say, okay, where, where's that pop of colour? That I can highlight and when I was originally sort of setting this one out I was thinking that it would be that purple in the little um, forget-me-nots there that I would choose to highlight but as I'm sitting there yeah it's got to be the pink that's got to be the detail color even though it's the same color that I used in the one earlier this week and I don't like repeating myself okay uh, and we've got Ms Lama thank you for joining us Ms Lama um, you've just joined what are we sewing we are creating the first of our block of the month um, chic boutiques so this is our um, beauty salon boutique 
that we are creating. It does come in multiple <laughs> sizes. And if you look at the show notes, you can see links to, to where you can find the design. Um, but it's just a really gorgeous, fun applique design. Um, and Ms. Lama, what sort of stitching are you into? <laughs> I'm very, very surprised that my thread has held out so far. And isn't it funny, you can just hear, it's, it's like, and it's like when you see your, or, or when there's a couple of babies all sleeping, and you know your babies cry, versus other babies cry. In a room of sewing machines, you do get to know your own machine, and what it does and doesn't do. And I think that's it. So I'm just going to come over and stop the machine there. And yep, I've just run out of thread. So I'm going to go back a couple of stitches to where it ran out. And it's broken the thread as well. Now, I've got my new bobbin there, but there's a tiny little tag on there that I just need to cut off. Okay. It's amazing how when you change your needle, your thread starts to work better. Murphy's Law. Now so far I've done a ton of stitches tonight on this so I'm wondering whether we just need a little more niceness to the thread and what I'm going to do is just quickly grab my thread serum and just put a couple of drops over to give it a nicer um, and just add that little bit of glide
much nicer. Okay. So now we can start adding our details in. I'm going to go to my black. Remember this is that black that was causing me all those problems a couple of weeks ago. A couple of days in the sin bin with some silica gel. All problems solved. Don't you hate it when you think you know better? Damn, I thought I could just get that before it turned up there. But at least I stopped the machine. Yeah, I'm learning. Takes me a while, but I get there. And I like using the silhouettes in these shop fronts simply because. I want the shop front itself to be the hero. The features within the shop front are decoration. Loving this one of the women getting her um, her hair done. So you can see just how quick it is to actually stitch this guy out. The only thing that I'm frustrated that I had to do because things had to be layered was I've got 90% of the black stitching on this um, colorway 
then we're going to do the pink and then we've got to go back to the black and the reason that had to happen was just to get the best look overall So now we're going to come in and add in those pink details. Now, if I wasn't stitching this for you guys, I would also stuff around a little bit. And whilst I had this thread color on, I would stitch the shop name as well. But I'm doing this all in the correct order. Just to show you that it really doesn't make that much of a difference. Like... Yeah, it's a tiny bit of thread. And it's just that little pop of color. I just love how the details just pop up. <clears throat> now again, where I'm doing the lights here that you can see me stitching, this would be the perfect place if you are a hotfix crystal person to pop a hotfix crystal in each of those little light bulb areas. I do like the scissor jack hell on the door. 
we've got glass balustrades on our deck and I need to do redo our house numbers so that people can see what actual house number we are and I'm thinking of just getting um, of just using the um, the Cricut cutter and doing my own numbers and putting them on the glass oh Carol thank you so much that's a lovely thing to say Carol's just telling us that she um, that she likes the design <clears throat> Lots of stops in the scissors because you've got to go in the middle and the outside. Now I can come through, do all my trimming, of course. God, I remember the, the olden days where you had to trim yourself every single time. Like my 10,000. I could never understand people who left all the stitches till the very end to trim. Because I had stitches over stitches, under and overs and oh. But yeah. I'm used to trimming but I'm still not a huge fan of it. So now we can add in all the rest of the chair details and we can do our open sign. again if it knows you're in a rush you know it's gonna stop <laughs> oh Carol that's it once you had the thread trimmer you couldn't live without it but yeah it wasn't even there as an option and I got my first machine in 2001 it was the Janome 10,000 um, and I can still remember the first machine that had the trimmer on it that I owned um, and it was just oh one of those I love it I love it I couldn't go back but what that gave us was I think because we didn't have trimmers I think I'm a better digitizer because I take those jump stitches into consideration it <clears throat> um, it's still just ingrained in what I do that I want to make that the prettiest and easiest for the machine to do And I mean, look, I've got friends who've still got their 10,000s, who've still got their 300Es, and they're beautiful machines. And um, whilst the original quilt that this um, that I've done 
I used the 9 by 12 size hoop for these blocks. The size that I'm doing now is the 5 by 7 size and I do that very deliberately first of all because it is a shorter time for me to stitch live and secondly to show you that it doesn't matter which size machine you've got. Here's the large, here's the small. They both look fantastic. It's that whole Fred and Ginger thing. Smaller machines can do exactly what the larger ones can, just backwards and inwards. But yeah, I, I'm not sure I could deliberately go back to not having a, um, a jump stitcher. Oh, liking the green. Now the shrubbery, whilst it's a really basic shape, what you'll notice is that it's textured. And I've put, tried to put that sort of leaf slash flowery bushy texture into the shrubbery. Once again, if you don't like the shrubs, just leave off that colourway. But I do think once again that that shrubbery just adds just that one little bit again. And whilst the shrubbery is the same size, I've tried to do the actual. Um, design inside the shrub is different. Where I have trouble comprehending where how people did things and I'll use the, you know, in quotes in the olden days of machine embroidery. Um, the lady who inspired me, she had the Janome 9000 and it had a five by four inch hoop. <coughs> and like she was still doing big names on towels and things. Um, I, I can't imagine um, going for um, having a hoop that was that small. Now she wasn't thrilled because six months after she bought her machine um, and inspired me, um, they bought out the 10,000 and she then felt quite gypped. But, um, and you know, yeah, the first couple of years, if it didn't fit into that B hoop, it wasn't being stitched. Um, it took me probably two or three years to get comfortable enough with my machine to say, okay, I'm going to do a larger design, which is going to force me to match things up. <clears throat>
just doing our last two shrubs. And last one down. <clears throat> Now I'm going to get my pink fabric, uh, my pink thread ready again, because I'm going to do the um, shop name stitching in that same bright pink. So remember, at the beginning of the design, we placed the lettering from our machine into the right position. We haven't changed anything else, so that should all be fine. We skipped over where it was stitching the um, Sheer Delight. So now it is going to come through <coughs> and stitch our new shop name. all done and of course whatever colors work for your palettes Margaret Stevens thanks for joining us darling I hope you're doing well this year And of course, for those of you who are watching at the beginning, our shop name is Curl Up and Die. I do love um, quirky shop names. If you have, of course, software um, that came with your machine, you could also use your software. Um, take out the lettering that I've included with the design and put your own lettering in that way as well. And on the next blocks that we do, which will be the shoe boutique, I'll show you how I do that in my software. And it'll be next month. the lettering's coming out though that's it's still looking a good size for that sign
I think if I had to do my time again, the only thing I'd do is see if I could find a slightly redder pink to match into that. I think it had to be the darkness of uh, to pick up the rosy bit. But yeah, I think I could maybe have tried something just a tiny bit <coughs> redder. <coughs> ah! Everyone's got to get something. And at least now, Margaret, um, and thank you for your, um, for your lovely comments, um, at least now my immunity should have gone up. So, yay. And the only thing I'm bummed about is I had all these plans for Christmas, all this stuff I was going to get done. I've done none of it. What do we think? And we'll just trim that off. Oh, I am loving how that is looking. Okay, so here is my final. I think that's really pretty. And I'm loving how that has come out. Now, the couple of things that I do want to show you guys. Oh, thank you very much, Trish. That's lovely. So this is what I'm going to do next week. Attaching lace to fabric so that it is strong and it works well. This is the shirt extender that I am um, made with just a bit of... Um, crimpoline sort of fabric thank you Barbara that's nice um, <coughs> and I will pop up this lovely little heart design as a um, as a freebie to share with you this is the other one that I was just going to show you so I know what I'm going to do with this guy but he's got a friend and it's the coffee cart and I'm loving the coffee cart but I'm not sure what to do with it so if anybody has any suggestions for a project that I could do with that I would love to hear them okay now I think that is all that I had to show you guys um, thank you so much for um, for joining me as always um, I look forward to seeing you next week if of course you've got any questions let me know um, sales at Julie Hill Designs on Facebook however you normally get in contact with me um, and other than that guys have a stitching day and I'll see you